Okay, well, thanks for doxing me, game. Appreciate it, bro. What is up, you guys? Karma here, and today we are playing a new game called The Open House. As usual, if you'd like to play this game for yourself, then go ahead and check out the description, as I always include a download link. Let's get started. Um, it's, a, it's like some horror game or something. It was on itch.io. I don't know, but it looks interesting. Hello there, my name is Agent Name, and I'm one of your local North Tree real estate agents for the client neighborhood area. <laughs> nice to meet you. Okay. Thank you for being a part of our alpha testing program. We're excited about our partnership with Optics Dynamics Labs to help bring you the latest in cutting edge real estate technology through nanodrones, photogrammetry, and industry leading machine learning. Uh. Okay, but what does that all mean? Well, well, I'm assuming client name is supposed to be mine. I'm just gonna insert my name. Well, Karma, I'm glad you asked. For the first time ever, we've made the home buying process more convenient by bringing the full open house experience to the comforts of your personal digital devices. It's home buying revolutionized for the 21st century. Through a combination of camera drones and thousands of still images, we can now scan and recreate a fully explorable three-dimensional snapshot of any home. For a seller, that means no more dealing with the inconvenience of multiple showings. For a buyer, you can now browse our entire portfolio while sitting on your couch. Interesting. We're excited to show you a perfect home in your blank area. It's a fresh listing from one of our newer developments. But before we can get in all that fun stuff, I'll need to go over some of the basics of how this all works. Don't worry, it won't take long. I promise. Man, if only I could actually afford a house, bro. <laughs> Houses are expensive. Uh, this indicates what room you're currently in. Moving your cursor around the screen and example the highlighted areas will reveal different icons. Click them will turn right, left, move forward. Moving your cursor over the information bar re will reveal additional options you can click on. Okay, seems simple enough. Little tutorial. Now, I think we're ready to get started. I highly suggest that you wear headphones to get the full virtual open house experience. Please keep all hands and feet inside the ride at all times, and remember to have fun. And do let us know if there's anything we can do to improve your experience, because here at North Tree Real Estate, you, Karma, are our highest priority. Alright, seems legit. Alright, 15, 6, in Hollow Lane. Um, okay. Let's look to the side. Okay, we got a living room over there. The stairs. Information. Disabled and alpha. Make offer disabled. Details. The entryway has a nice modern look with a spacious vaulted ceiling. There's also a convenient guest bathroom located just down the hall. Okay. Cool. Overview. $385,000. Man, fuck that. Three bedrooms, two and a half bathrooms. Honestly, that's actually not that bad. Uh, three bedroom, two and a half bathroom, multi-level home located in a new suburban development. Features included brick fireplace, hardwood floors, central air, nearby shopping attractions. Uh, okay. Honestly, honestly, that's actually not bad pricing at all. But still, bro, like, ugh, houses are expensive. I like hardwood floors, though. I fuck- oh, I just- I just accidentally closed the game. Okay, you guys, we are back. Oh my god, I was not expecting, like, I was just trying to close out the fucking menu, but it closed out the entire game. But it's okay, I went through all the info again, um, and I'm gonna be smarter this time. <laughs> Let's just go in. Uh, check out the living room first. Okay, looks pretty nice. Information, details. This cozy living room receives tons of natural light during the day, and the brick fireplace adds the perfect touch of warmth for the cold winter months. Okay. Oh, I have. I, I thought it was telling me to press the X button, and I was like, the X isn't working. Okay, does he show me anything else? No? Okay. So he's just gonna say that same line. Alright, well, it doesn't look like. Uh, there's a little bit of grass, but. Don't see much outside or be like in a pocket dimension. Okay. I do think it looks cool so far though. Alright, let's turn. 
Got a nice little cabinet here. I actually really vibe with the cabinet. I love white furniture. It, it looks nice, except it gets dirty. Now let's turn. Yeah, look at that. Hold on, let's go back in here. Turn this way. Okay. Just pretty nice. Oh. Turn. Alright, let's go check out. Was this the kitchen? There we go. Okay. Alright, there's a shovel out there. Interesting. Probably just doing some landscaping renovations, whatever. Um... With modern appliances and tons of space, you'll never have to worry about having too many cooks in your kitchen. This is pretty spacey. I really like to cook, um, so I like- Honestly, this is set up almost identical to my actual kitchen. That's really fucking strange. Like, the way the stove is, like, little L shape, where the sink is- Bro, this is literally my kitchen. <laughs> the pantry there, the stove, the cabinets, what the hell? The little tiny island next to the fridge. Okay, that's... That's weird. <laughs> that's weird as fuck. Hold on, let's see what his details were for, um, here. The dining room is the perfect entertaining space with clear sight lines to the backyard and living room as well as easy access to the kitchen. Yeah, I do like that about the house plan. I, it, it's pretty open. I enjoy that. I don't really use a dining room, though. Uh, it, where I actually live, the dining room, I've actually converted into, like, a little uh, hobby space for me. Um, I do, like, sewing, all of that fun stuff. So, it, it's pretty nice there. Um, can we go outside? No, we can't. Okay, that's fine. We'll just head into here. Into the garage. I like the house. It's cute. So far. Oh. Oh. Um. That's definitely a bloody saw. Um. Okay. <laughs> oh, it, it's fixed now, I guess. Um. The two-car garage has plenty of room for storage, or it could be converted into that perfect personal space you've always wanted. Awesome. Um, we're just gonna ignore the fact there was a bloody saw, you know? I don't think that's really important to the house tour, you know? Like, I'm, I'm not here to buy a bloody saw. You, you feel? Oh, was this a bathroom? Let's go in the bathroom. Okay, let's hear the info. This guest bathroom has been recently updated with new fixtures and plumbing, so you can rest assured that your guests have the latest in modern convenience. Oh, there is blood in the sink. Um, maybe this should have been cleaned up before y'all prepared for an open house. I don't know, like not judging, just like my personal opinion, I guess. Is there any details for the hall? Uh, no, we already read that. Okay, well then I guess we go upstairs. Um, upstairs. Does he have anything to say about the stairs? Uh, no, I guess not. That's alright. Okay, what about now? No, oh. Man, I keep accidentally, like, clicking out of the window. I'm playing in windowed mode. Um, okay, well here's what looks like the master bedroom. Yes, I like it. What do you have to say about it? A massive walk-in closet and exquisite bathroom makes this 500 square foot master bedroom your sanctuary from the hustle and bustle of everyday life. I do like it. It looks really spacious. Got a nice like little TV set up and everything. I dig it. I dig it. Well, oh, there's some hair. Oh, I hear like banging or footsteps or something. Um, I don't think that's normal, but you know what? It's fine. Let's go in the bathroom. Okay, what do you have to say here? Marble counters and tiling add a sense of luxury that helps you to unwind and relax after a long day. I dig it. I like tubs. I don't, I typically shower, not take baths, but you know, baths are really nice if you just want to like chill, relax. Uh, I mean, I fucking love a nice bubble bath, you feel? Okay, there's like a little bathroom, I guess. 
Okay. Yeah, it's pretty nice. Pretty roomy. Um, you know, honestly, my one complaint is there's not really a lot of counter space. Um, I would probably make a- like, there's not even a cabinet or anything, like, really, you think this one tiny area is enough to, like, under the sink put all of my medicine, makeup, shit like that, bro? Nah, that's not enough counter space for a girl. I mean, I guess you have, like, that little desk over here, but, like, uh, it, that's shit lighting, like, there's not an overhead light, you feel? Like, I need light. Whatever. Um, here, let's go out this way. What else we got? Okay, what's in here? Right? Nothing. There was something on that whiteboard here, though. Don't look at it. Oh! Is he counting strikes against us? Because we've already- we've looked at three different bloody things. Okay, don't worry, buddy. We will not look at anything else. We will not look at any more of the evidence that you murdered a woman. Like, the, those scratch marks there? Nah, they don't exist. Don't worry, buddy. Um... You know what? We're just gonna pretend we didn't see that. Okay. In here? Alright. I like this bathroom. Looks- looks nice. Um... Definitely just gonna ignore that woman that was, like, watching. It's fine, though. What about- it? oh, wait, we were just in here, weren't we? Yeah, um... Nope. Saw literally nothing. Those scratches there? Yeah, they don't exist. Don't even worry about it. <laughs> oh, god. Um, a kid's bedroom? Okay, that's cool. Oh, I guess I'm not looking at the details. I really should. The Sid Hall bedroom is large enough for two small children, or that moody teenager who enjoys their privacy and loud music. Alright. Nice. Seems legit. Okay, then. Well? Hold on. Does he have anything to say in the hallway? Let's make sure we check out his details. Nope, I guess not. Here, then we'll go in here one more time. We're just gonna ignore the person in the closet. The second floor laundry room means no more hauling heavy loads of clothes up and down the stairs. Talk about a real time saver. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, well, um... I think that's all. Because they're definitely... Not wanting me to look at the very obvious signs that a woman has been murdered here. So, can, can I leave? Can I just like buy the house and completely just ignore everything else? Like, can I just non-commitment? Well, I don't know. Cause like, I, I'm completely open to ignoring the fact that someone was killed here, but you know... I, Cause it's a nice house and honestly... Oh wait. Is that the reflection of someone? What the fuck? Cause I don't remember that last time. Um, I don't remember there being a reflection behind me of someone. Cause that was like the same person that was in the closet, I think? Which is a little, little worrisome. Uh, not gonna lie. All right, well, I guess, I guess I have to look. Oh. All right, well, you know what? I'm going to ignore the ominous signage telling me not to look, which I assume is referring to all of the obvious marks of someone being killed. But you know what? I'm going to do it. Yep. I hear bad, bad noises. Oh, oh, okay. Um, are you still in here? Okay, another pop-up saying don't look at it. 
I won't look at it. Um. What the fuck was it like? Oh. Uh, it is glitching out. Hey, buddy. Um, I'm just gonna be heading out. If you you don't mind me. Oh, God, that noise scared me. Uh, the current scan has encountered a memory error, recompiling data from an earlier restore point. Available full scan today, approximately an hour ago. All right, um... I'm just... Yikes, okay. Um... Well, can we not turn? We can only go straight? Awesome, we're just walking on the blood. That's super cool. Holy shit, that is so much blood. Um. Whoa. Oh, I love some ominous darkness. Um, oh. Oh. And, oh, I guess we have to go this way. Hey, buddy. What the fuck is that monster thing? What the? Um. I don't, oh my god. Why are you looking at me like that? Holy shit. Uh... Use arrow keys to reposition. Missing scan data? Okay. So I guess we can move around now. Please rescan second floor? Okay. So this is a live feed. Um. Alright, well, back to the bloody mess. Well, doesn't look like there's anything here. Oh. What the fuck? It just opened for me. Um. Oh, I guess I have to scan each room. Do I just, like, shove the door open? Okay. Uh, I don't see anything in here. Okay. Next room. Um, doesn't look like there's anything in here. Alright, last room. Here? It's inside? No shit, buddy. No shit, it's inside. That weird demon thing. Uh, can I not go in that room? Oh, god. Error, inconsistent scan, dimensions... What do you mean? Rescan master bedroom. Okay, I'm assuming something spoopy is gonna be hiding here for us. Oh. That's strange. Are we like in the fucking back rooms now? What the fuck? Well, that's confusing. <laughs> um... Jesus Christ, we straight up are in the back rooms, aren't we? It's like a circle. What is this? I have no idea. Some, like, picture or painting? Alright. Well, we're just in a looping thing now. Oh! What the fuck? I didn't see what it said. Something about window? Hmm... Okay. Hmm. Oh, wow. How did I... <laughs> I just went completely tunnel vision. I didn't see. There's like a million more photo things now. I feel like we're p playing PT right now. Oh my god, is it showing like my actual computer like time and shit? Okay, it's not. I was... Wait, is it? Am I just stupid? 
Yeah, I'm just stupid. Let me see. Yeah, I'm just fucking stupid. I can't tell time. <laughs> Don't even mind me. Oh my god. Yes, that is the actual time it is here. Time and date that I am recording this, actually. Okay, like, I get it. Am I just gonna keep going in circles? Like, nothing's changing. Hello? What do you want me to do? I think the screen's getting shakier. Okay, maybe I do just keep going. Because I'm seeing more static. It's, it's a little disorienting, but you know what? It's fine, we'll just keep looping. I wish I could, like, run to make it faster or something, I guess? Oh, I hear, like, whispering? Or am I just being schizophrenic? Just static. Um... Hello? Are we just gonna keep infinitely looping? Hello? Cause I'm just in an infinite corridor! Jesus Christ, how much longer do I have to fucking walk? Like, do you want me to walk the opposite direction? Like, is that what you want me to do? Holy shit! Um, yeah, I guess that is what he wanted me to do. He was like, bro, you've been walking in the same direction for too long. Please, for the love of God, fucking turn around. Alright, well... Now we're just going down an infinite hallway, I guess. Um... Locate player tag. System spawn it character. Uh, how about we don't spawn it character? What is this timer thing for? Is it like a countdown? Like it's- well it's ticking up. Wait, no. This is like a countdown for me to get out maybe? Oh god. Is it gonna like jump out? And- Oh god. Oh those noises. I don't like that. I'm not gonna turn around. Oh I did not like that one bit. Oh god he's gonna jump scare me in a second. I'm covering my eyes bro. Oh? No? Oh god. Okay. I'm like, <laughs> such high anxiety. Oh! Oh wait, is this telling me like how hot and cold I am? That wasn't time at all, it only looked like time because I'm moving. It's like coordinates? Weird, bro. Okay. So I guess we're trying to get to zero? I don't know. What the fuck? This is weird as hell. Uh... <laughs> Alright, um... Can I just like keep walking? Or am I gonna dead end up here? I see... Is that... Text under the house? I don't know. Can I get to the house? There's like a red light in there. It's fucking weird. Can I like walk off the edge? No? Damn bro. If only I could run. Okay, so I think the goal is- so there's that counter up at the top. And we have to get it to zero for like the next area to like appear i don't know because whenever i got it to zero last time that's whenever i found this new hallway so i guess we just have to keep going until the number gets low enough and then we should be all right so we're almost there we're at about 10. 
So we'll come around this way. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay. Maybe that wasn't the case? Hmm. I don't know. Did anything change over here? It doesn't look like it. Oh, wait! It says something to change cameras? Press tab to change cameras. Oh! Well, this is fun. What the hell? Are we like... <laughs> is this supposed to be like intestines we're in? That's weird. Alright, well, up the stairs we go, I guess. Um... Oh, okay. What's this? Oh, all right. I guess we're back in. Make offer? I guess we're making an offer on the house now? Or, or like, are we offering ourselves? Jesus Christ. Is it? Is that it? Huh? I guess that's it, you guys. I mean, it was pretty interesting for, like, a quick, short, like, indie game. I think it was pretty good. It had a nice little ambiance to it. I like the analog horror type games and just... I've always been super into ARGs and stuff, so... Honestly, I feel like this was pretty my vibe. It might not be everyone's, but I, I really like the simple analog horror stuff, so... I'll give it a good rating. <laughs> Well, let's just look at the credits, let them finish up. Oh, that... That just said my actual name. I'm gonna have that blurred out. <laughs> okay, well... Thanks for doxing me, game. Appreciate it, bro. Offer accepted? Oh my god, is that me hanging from the ceiling? Expect a call soon? You know what? Alright. Sounds good, I guess. Where the fuck is my mouse? Am I just like stuck here? I guess that's it. Cause like, oh, my mouse has completely disappeared. At least now I know from my mistake earlier that by pressing the escape button it completely closes out the game. Um. Well, that was awesome, except for the doxing part. But, you know, that's easily edited out. Um, well, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to hit subscribe and have notifications turned on. I upload every weekday at 12 p.m. Central. Monday, Wednesday, Fridays are series, and Tuesday, Thursdays are just random one-off fun episodes like this. Um, I also live stream on Thursdays, so, you know, all that fun stuff. I would love for you guys to come by and say hi. Anyways, until next time, you guys. Hope to see you in the next video. Bye-bye. <laughs>